Ahoy there sailors, it's Jamie here with my tour and review of a solo inside a cabin on board Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Virgin describes their cabins as super yacht inspired hideaways in keeping with the feel of the ship's many spaces and hidden gems. A solo insider is the smallest cruise ship cabin I've ever had and when I first opened the door I felt it was comfortable, very 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 cosy, also known as tiny, with some great touches like mood lighting and dare I say some rather naughty little features, keep watching. Good to know, water is replenished daily by your cabin steward. For $12, you too can own this octopus. I mean, it's kind of cute. If you fancy some uptime, these products may well suit you. Be warned, they do come at a cost. As in a, a price. $30 up, I believe. Bed and bedding are super comfy and with no natural light in the cabin, I had four great nights sleep and needed to set an alarm or I'd have slept in until the next day and been none the wiser. Super handy to have a US socket and USB ports right next to your bed. Okay, the bathroom, if you can call it that, it's so small and a bit plastic aroma. There are hardly any bigger and larger cabins either. However, what it does have is an ugly but fantastic shower, complete with a powerful, super relaxing rainfall shower head. That was a big winner and actually the most important feature in the bathroom for me. And yes, you can fit two in there at a push. Storage space for a solo passenger is fine with hanging space, shelves and a rather large drawer under the bed. If you did purchase any of those little treats, you may want to press the top button for privacy. Just saying. Okay, I'll admit it, the tablet is a really nice touch. And it's true, you can indeed transform your room at the touch of a button. You can enjoy some fun mood matching lights, although there's noticeably no setting for give me some natural light please, or can I have a balcony now? The delivery service won't stop and cannot stop according to Virgin, but be aware of the trade charge. Hashtag no stomach left behind. And the tablet keeps giving. If you need a reminder of how to get around the ship, look no further. So as a solo passenger, would you consider staying in this cabin? It's clean, it's comfortable, it has some nice quirky features, but of course, it's pretty small. On the other hand, it was quite good value for money. Would I stay in it again? I would. Don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.